Thank you. 
can do half the job bringing the word tonight if they did sing it. We'll have us up here tonight, won't we? Amen. Uh, I appreciate y'all inviting us out here tonight to bring forth the word. Uh, you know, uh, got a lot of a lot of craziness going on out there in this world right now, ain't you? Amen. Amen. We better be spending what time we can with the Lord on our knees and on our faces. Seeking God, and seeking God for the lost out there, man. It's a, it's a whole lot of it out there. We we watched our country go downhill in the last little while. And I don't want to get into politics up here, but we've uh, we've seen it. We, we're watching it right now. And I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm, I'm looking out here, and I ain't seen too many children. You better keep your hands on your children, amen. Because they're after them. Sure. They're after them. They're. Uh, I was listening to the radio the other night. And uh, there's a little 10-year-old. They had a 10-year-old on, on the radio speaking. He said he was an advocate for these uh, uh, drag queens. He was so an advocate. There ain't a 10-year-old out there advocating nothing. That's just parents putting out there. This stuff is demonic here. Amen. 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 This uh, transsexual Amen. stuff is demonic. Amen. Church, we're facing it. It's right here in our face. They're wanting us to accept it. We can't accept it. They're marrying people inside the church that don't belong together. They're, they're marrying uh, homosexuals in the church. They don't belong together. We got churches out there saying that they're, they're about Christ and they're far from it. Amen. Amen. But anyway, now I'm just that's, that's all I'm free. That ain't part of my, my message. They're, they're trying to they're, 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 they're trying to say that they've got their own identity. Amen. Amen. Let's go to the Lord in prayer tonight. Gracious Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to be behind, to be behind this pulpit, Lord. Lord, I pray that you send down the preacher this, this evening, dear God, that every person, whether it be on the, 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 the online there or here in this house tonight, Lord, I pray that each and every one of us, Lord, can get a closer walk with you, Lord. And Lord, if there's anybody out there, dear God, that doesn't know you, I pray, dear Lord, that your spirit would rest their spirit tonight, dear God. Lord, we are the church. We want to be in your will, dear God. You're our almighty God. And we give you reverence tonight, Lord. And we ask all this in the name of Jesus, we pray. My, my uh, scripture tonight is going to be in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 3. Brothers and sisters, I, I didn't come here tonight to beat nobody's denomination up. Y'all know that I'm a non-denominational non preacher. Uh, our church, we don't uh, we don't have a, a name over our own. We preach Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Amen. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'll get started here and, and uh, read these first little few verses. And, and you all can have a seat if you want. I mean, or you can stand and, and reverence the word here. It says, 1 Corinthians chapter 3. It says, And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal. Even as unto babes in Christ, I have fed you with milk and not with meat. For hitherto you were not able to bear it. Neither yet now are you able. For you are yet carnal. For whereas there is among you envy, and strife and division. Are you not carnal and walk as men? For while one said, I am of Paul, and another, I am of Apollos, are you not carnal? Who then is Paul and who is Apollos, but ministers by whom you believe, even as the Lord gave to every man? Praise God. Somebody, somebody's bringing a word from what? Uh, that's all we are, Brother Bill, ain't it? We're ministers. We're being used by the Holy Spirit to bring forth the unadulterated Word of God, and that's where it's got to lay, is in the Word of God. Amen. Not our opinion, but what thus said the Word of God. Amen. Says, as Paul says, I have planted Apollos water, but God gives the increase. Amen. It ain't the church of God. It ain't, it ain't the uh, 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 the New Haven Chapel down here that I go to, it's God gives the increase. Amen. 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 
we get too involved in the in the the, 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 the government of the church, amen. The, the bylaws, if you will. Yeah. We need to be getting into God's word. You know, yeah. we can't, well, here we are sitting here talking about what's going on in the world, amen. We're, we're, we're talking about what 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 they're trying to bring forth to make us accept, trying to take our children from us. But yet we're fighting amongst ourselves in the church, amen. amen. We're saying this is right and that ain't right. We talked about it on the way over here a little bit. And, and, but you know what? It ain't about us. We got we got to be the the the, the, the Bible. We got we got yeah, to be yeah. what they're reading. Amen. Amen. We got to be getting along. You know how can we expect the world to want to accept what we got if we're not living it ourselves? Amen. 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 So then neither is he who plants anything, neither he who waters, but God who gives an increase. Now he who plants and he who waters are one. We're one in Christ Jesus. Huh? And let me tell you another thing. This ain't in my, in my notes. This ain't nothing that just comes to my head. You, if you're a child of God tonight, brother, you're complete. In him. Amen. There again, not in what's hanging on the top of your doors at the church. Uh, we are the church. Amen. Amen. And we're complete in Him. That's all we need is what He does in Calvary. And every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. Boy, that's a promise, ain't it? For we are laborers together with God. You are God's husbandry. Uh, that's what we talked about earlier with Brother Ross. We belong to Him. We no longer belong to ourselves, the Bible says. But let every man, let's see, wait a minute, I have, this is, a, we are his husbandry. You are God's building according to the grace of God, which is given unto me as a wise master builder. I have laid the foundation and another builds thereupon, but let every man take heed how he builds thereupon. Amen. Uh, we better stand this word at Oh, uh, you know, a lot of people call it cherry picking when you're going through the Bible, doing like I. That's the way I preach. So I make the Bible prove the Bible. Amen. Because who am I? I'm just a sergeant. Amen. I'm nobody. I want to go on to, to 1 Corinthians chapter 6. Starting in verse 17, it says, But he who is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. Flee fornication. Every sin that a man does is without the body. But he who commits fornication sins against his own body. What? Do you not know that your body? You have of God, and you are not your own, for you are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. You know, a lot of times the world, will, we get out there and we get to showing ourselves, acting all kinds of nasty ways, getting aggravated, let the flesh take over, brother. Now, we're all, we, we, we're all getting Look, look what they're looking at. You know what I'm saying? With a, a 
lot of times church, we, 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 uh, we're, we're fighting over things that don't matter about nothing. Well, it doesn't matter about any little things. We, it, 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 just because uh, I believe in speaking in tongues and this and here, don't believe in speaking in tongues. And, and, and this and here says, well, you can't speak in tongues unless you've got an interpreter. Who are we to say? He who believes on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow the river. Let me just stop. Just, just, just relax for a minute here. How do you identify? Amen? How, how? So I ask you, what are you about? You ever ask anybody about saying anything? Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. You know, like I said from the beginning, we're nothing, but he's everything. Amen. That water flows directly from Christ Jesus and indirectly out of me. Amen. I'm being This spoke he of the Spirit, which they who believe on him should receive. Oh. He's 
coming. It's a coming, he said. Y'all might have already noticed what's going on here. Some of you, this might have been an enlightenment. Because it enlightened me one day when I was sitting here reading this. Starting with verse 1, it says, And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all of one accord in one place. Remember, Jesus told them to go up in there and wait on them, didn't he? Yes, sir. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven of a rushing mighty wind and it filled all the house and they were all sitting huh? could, you, could you all imagine being in that room and feeling the presence of God rushing in it's never, it's never been felt like this before until this day you know, the, 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 the power of God coming in there things that they're about to see. The Bible's talking about. Just, just think about this. Just, just think about what's fixing to happen right here. Where they were sitting and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire and it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. And they began to speak with other tongues. As the Spirit gave them utterance. The Spirit of God gave them the utterance. The Spirit of God. Please don't take it that way and understand what I'm about to say to you. Verse 5 says, And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. There's a big gathering here. 
God had a plan. There's a lot going on at this time. They're fulfilling these laws at this time, these <coughs> feasts, if you will. They just left the, the, the Passover, right? 50 days prior to this big feast. And now they're in the, the feast of Pentecost, 50 days later. Here comes this Holy Ghost presence coming upon the scene. Amen. God knows what he's doing. And there were dwelling in Jerusalem, Jews, devout men, Now, when this was noised abroad, I mean, when people was talking about this, and they was talking about it, I could imagine how much everybody was wanting to go tell everybody what was going on here. And what did they say? They said uh, they, they were speaking as the Holy Spirit gave them utter dry. They said it was like tongues of fire. Some brought that. multitude came together and was confounded because that every man here it is heard them speak in his own language. Did I catch that? They were speaking. As God was telling them what to say. Every man there heard. Heard. They want to put emphasis on the speaking. Tonight I want to put emphasis on the hearing. We got to hear from God. Yes. Amen. Yes. I'm not denouncing tongues. I'm not denouncing what was spoken here. I'm denouncing the people ain't teaching what we need to hear. Because they heard from God what God wanted them to hear. Ain't that a miracle? These men don't even speak the language of the other men, but yet they're hearing what God wants them to hear. Yeah. That's good. It ain't all about the speaking. It's about the hearing. It says, and they were all amazed, marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? And how hear we every man in our own tongue? How we hear? The world don't even believe it. They can't believe it. Amen? Amen. Right. Until they hear it. Come on. That's the only way a man can get saved is by hearing the word. That's what he says. Unless God draws me. Yes. Unless the Spirit draws me. But you gotta hear it. Yes. See, we're just a mouthpiece. We're just a, a picture unto the world. And what we're taking to the world is what they're seeing and hearing. Amen. How are we speaking? Come on. Come on. Amen? Amen? Are we speaking the orals, the, the, the oracles of God? Are we letting them read what the Spirit is leading us in? Are we getting in the flesh? Here we are in, in, in a lot of churches. You've got stars <coughs> saying that, uh, that's, that the Bible, they want to serve the, 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 the Southern Church, the Gentile Church, that, that uh, there's a new gospel. I think it was that, uh, oh, uh, I forget her name. It was a real popular saying. Claims to be a Christian up there on the stage, wearing the clothes that she's wearing, singing the songs that she's singing. But yeah, she, she wants to belong to the new gospel, not the old gospel. Let me, let me tell you something God's word don't change. Amen. Right. Come on, brother. Yeah. Whatever he's saying. 
Cyrene and strangers of Rome, Jews and proselytes, Greeks and Arabians, we do hear them speak in our tongue. The wonderful works of God. They were all amazed. What were they amazed about? That they hear. Amen. That they're seeing. God and they're hearing in their own native language. Amen. And they were all amazed and were in doubt, saying one to another, What does this mean? Others might have said, These men are full of new wine. You all know. Kept messing up. The one that denied Christ three times. Uh, the one cowered down a little bit. I'm not trying to make Peter look bad, but I'm just trying to draw a picture about the, 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 the state he was in. The state that all of us have faced one time or another. If you felt a little more comfortable bringing the word to somebody. Seeing it was but the third hour of the day. And I guess set to be about nine o'clock. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass in the last day, saith God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And all my servants. And all my handmaids I will pour out in those days of my spirit. And they shall prophesy. What? I want to ask the question. I want somebody to ask. What does prophesy mean? It's God's word. That's what I'm doing tonight. I'm prophesying to my brothers. Just like your son. 
And this I say, lest any man should beguile you with his enticing words. We hear a lot of that today, don't we? Yeah. Enticing words. For though I be absent in the flesh, yet am I with you in the spirit, joining, joining and beholding your order, and the steadfastness of your faith in Christ. As you have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him, rooted, built up in him, established in the faith as you have been taught abounding therein with thanksgiving beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit well, what are we seeing in our world today after the, tradi after the traditions of men after the rudiments of the world and not after Christ you know in a lot of churches judging each other in no kind of way, we are here to lift each other up Amen. in the Word. Jesus said, who are you to judge another man's sermon? I can't wait to shake your hand. You both, uh, I can't wait to just hug you around the neck. Thank you for being a bold little rebel like he was walking upon the earth. 
greatest loving man has ever walked. Church, church has done so much for us. And I want to tell you today, don't let nobody tell you that you ain't got the Spirit of God. If you've accepted the Lord Jesus Christ and you believe anybody in here that needs prayer for a closer walk to God, let's be serious. Let's come up here and see you tonight. There's many of us in here. We're all men. We're all here to lift each other up, but we wouldn't be here tonight. If there's anybody that needs prayer tonight, come up here. We'll help you. Sometimes we've got to swallow our pride. We've got to remember who we are in Christ Jesus. We've got to let that Holy Spirit just take over and lead us and guide us and convict us. Make us righteous. Amen. Judge us.